In among all the Illyrian emperors of the third century, there was also the Gaul Carus. His reign was characterized by his attempt to tie his family into his role to create dynastic stability. Born in Narbonne in southern France in around 230, he was Probus's Praetorian prefect in 282. Although some sources suggest that he stepped into the power vacuum after the murder of Probus in September that year, in all likelihood he led the revolt against him. Much like Valerian, he recognised that the empire was too large for one man to run. Both for political and for dynastic reasons, he tied in his family closely. And again, like Valerian and Gallienus, Carus's grown-up sons, Carinus and Numerian, were immediately named Caesars. That allowed Carus to leave Carinus in charge of the west, while he addressed problems in the east with his younger son, Numerian. Carus's campaign against the Sasanian Empire was successful, without opposition, says one of the sources. Via Armenia, Carus marched down the Tigris against Bahram II, who was distracted by a campaign in Afghanistan. He got as far as Ctesiphon. The emperor died late in the year, probably in December 283. Carus died when lightning struck his tent. The more cynical have suggested that rather than lightning, it came from a torch thrown into his tent by unhappy soldiers. Numerian died on the way back from Persia the following year. The news was broken in November. Carinus was unable to provide the stability that the empire needed. He was defeated at the Battle of Margus River in what is now Serbia in July 285 and then killed by one of his own Praetorian prefects. The man who defeated him? A soldier called Valerius Diocles, better known to history as the Emperor Diocletian.